Hello everyone. Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn, analyze the world's major importing countries for a specific product. World demand of a product, growth rate of imports in each market, and unit value of the products. So, let's start. First, login. You use your email and password to log in the trade map. Uh, as we want to see the import data, world import data, so I select imports and there is service and uh, product option. 620920 that is the baby's garments and clothing accessories I put here uh, this product and we will analyze uh, the world import data of this product then click the trade indicators is a list of importers for the selected products in 2018 product 620920 babies garments and clothing accessories of cotton okay uh, see there are many indicators here and you have to know these indicators clearly first five indicators that is value imported in 2018 in US dollar trade balance is 2018 in US dollar quantity imported in 2018 unit uh, quantity unit unit value in US dollar uh, these uh, five indicators is used uh, to analyze the situation of the uh, market here these indicators are applicable for 620920 HS code products so these uh, five indicators are situation analysis indicators uh, then the three indicators the remaining three indicators annual growth in value between 2014 to 18 annual growth in quantity between 2014 to 2018 five years analysis and last one is annual growth in value between 2017-18 that is the last two years annual growth uh, so these uh, three indicators is used to analyze the trends of the market and uh, the remaining indicators that is share in world imports average distance of supplying countries concentration of supplying countries average tariff and uh, uh, other indicators there may be these indicators are used to analyze the structure of the market. Beside these, you can analyze the yearly time series. In this case, uh, you have to put here the product code or product name. First, uh, then yearly click on yearly time series to analyze time series and trade map will produce the uh, yearly uh, time series data for you according to the country uh, imported value in 2004 2000, 2014 2015 2016 uh, 2017 and 2018 and here are the countries and value imported okay now uh, I go back to the trade indicators our product is 620920 I click on the trade indicators I want to introduce you with uh, these trade indicators which is very important to analyze your trade data first five columns 
that I told you earlier that these five columns uh, indicator is used for situation analysis first one is value imported in 2018 in US dollar that indicates the market size in dollar and second one is trade balance the trade balance is uh, export minus import if exports is greater than imports this will show positive value third one is quantity imported in 2018 the quantity imported in the last year which shows the market size in terms of physical volume then quantity unit the quantity unit that the product is uh, reported or that is uh, if uh, the product is in ton uh, here tons will be mentioned uh, bes uh, besides there are many other uh, quantity unit like pairs in case of footwear and others then unit value unit value is value by quantity this is average across the whole period covered and might hide large fluctuations throughout the year the unit value is not a common price but the average value of each imported unit then annual growth in value in 2000 14 to 2018 annual growth in quantity between 2014 2018 and annual growth in value between 2017-18 the describe group of indicators allows you to identify the current situation of the market of your product uh, you can identify the size of the global market in terms of value and quantity the larger participants in the market from the demand side and their corresponding market size whether they are importers or they also export significant amounts of the same products whether the spe specific country market appears to buy more or less expensive product and the indicator shows the performance of the market in the most recent years and this is a statical or a static view the next uh, three columns under the trade indicators identify the trends first one is annual growth in value between 2014 to 2018 this indicator shows the average annual growth of the imported value during the past five years this is annual growth in quantity between 2014 2018 this is the growth in quantity over the past five years this indicator states whether the imported quantity grew over the past five years and at what average annual rate and the third one is annual growth in value between 2017 to 2018 this is the growth in value between the last two years this indicator gives an idea whether or not the five years trend of the imported value has been maintained recently. If the growth in value over the uh, last two years differ a lot from the five years average, this can mean that the trend is very volatile and has recently been changing. Thus, the dynamism section is useful to understand whether the market has grown in the past or whether this growth is rather steady or volatile. The latter making it hard to predict if the coming years will continue to grow. Also, it shows whether the growth in values is stronger than the growth in quantity. If the value grows faster than the volume, which also means that the unit value are rising. Several things could be happening. Demand for the product could exceed the supply. Demand could be shifting towards higher quality product. Demand also could be shifting towards the more value added products. 
also transportation or insurance cost could have risen so much that they are pushing up the values of import but it is important to understand that we cannot jump to easy conclusions by seeing an increase in unit value uh, further research is required now we turn to the third section under trade indicators which gives us an idea of the market structure first one is share in world imports share in world imports identifies what percentage of world imports each country absorbs for example here united states of america for this product if we consider 100 percent usa imports 20.1 percent of this product france imports 10.5 percent of this product spain imports 9.2 percent of this product it helps us to easily compare the market size in value of different countries next average distance of supplying countries this is the average distance next one is concentration of supplying countries we can see the uh, demand is concentrated or not and uh, last one is average tariff average tariff shows add valorum equivalent tariff applied by each importing country on average for the analyzed products thus uh, you can see the largest who are the largest importers of this product share of world imports share in the world imports uh, world demand concentrated or not if the total of the three uh, countries share in world exports is greater than 50 you can uh, say that the the demand is concentrated and um, if not then you can say that uh, the market uh, is not dependent only uh, on the few few countries uh, it is it distributes distributes to the other countries also then the world imports grown or declined the last five years you can see here and uh, also you can compare the individual countries annual growth with the world import you can compare each country with the world import and also the growth in value and growth in quantity of the each of each country and you can also analyze individual country uh, also uh, for france for example if i click on the france you can see that uh, list of supply markets for the products uh, imported by france in 2018 the product is 620920 babies garments you can see a list of the countries who supply uh, this product to france and we'll discuss this later